The practice of being optimistic and concentrating on the positive parts of life, especially in the face of challenges or adversity, is what people mean when they talk about being positive. Your ability to deal with stress, increase your well-being, and strengthen your resilience can all be improved via the practice of positivity. There are a lot of different strategies to nurture optimism in your life, and today we will explore some of those strategies. Practice gratitude. The emotion of gratitude is the feeling of appreciation for what one possesses, as opposed to concentrating on what one does not possess. Gratitude has been shown to improve one's mood, lower levels of stress, and strengthen one's ability to be resilient, according to research. You can cultivate an attitude of gratitude by either expressing your appreciation to someone who has assisted you, or by writing down a few things that you are thankful for on a daily basis. Other ways to show gratitude in your everyday life are to take some time to reflect on the blessings in your life for which you are thankful. Take a moment to appreciate the magic and beauty of something you come across every day. Express gratitude for your well-being and the chance to live a fulfilling life one. Say thank you to a friend, family member, instructor, or coworker for their positive influence on your life. Show them your appreciation by doing something small but kind, like tidy up after dinner, give them a hug, or write a message of thanks. Give them something you own that you believe they would like and explain to them why you desire it in particular. Encourage them to attempt something you know they want to try, but haven't yet because they're afraid, or extend an invitation to do something you know they've always wanted to do. Gratitude can also be expressed through gratitude exercises, gratitude journals, gratitude quotes, and creating gratitude bulletin boards at home or at work. Identify and challenge negative thoughts. Negative thinking has the potential to exacerbate a number of conditions, including low self-esteem, stress, depression, and social anxiety. You must acknowledge the problems that result from your existing style of thinking before you may change your negative thought patterns. It is thus necessary for you to use strategies to reduce or alter these negative ideas. Eliminating negative thoughts can be accomplished in a few different ways. To increase self-awareness, practice mindfulness. In meditation, mindfulness first emerged. This involves taking a step back and seeing your feelings and ideas as if they were something else entirely. Recognizing and classifying negative ideas as well as cognitive distortions. Black and white thinking is exhibited, for instance, if you frequently see yourself as wholly successful or unsuccessful in every circumstance. Substituting realistic, constructive thoughts for pessimistic ones. With the help of cognitive restructuring, you can question your thoughts by going through exercises like asking yourself if the thought is realistic. Considering past events in comparable circumstances to see if your interpretation of what happened is accurate, actively challenging the thought, and seeking out alternative explanations. Embracing bad thoughts instead of attempting to suppress or avoid them. Without taking criticism and comments personally or allowing them to lower your self-esteem, you can learn how to handle them. Tracking your ideas in a journal to spot unfavorable thought patterns. Affirmations or statements that uphold your principles and objectives can also be written down. If you believe that your distressing thoughts are affecting your day-to-day -day life, you can also consider getting professional assistance from a therapist. You can enhance your mental health by learning coping mechanisms and techniques from a therapist who can also assist you in recognizing and challenging your negative underlying beliefs. Establish your priorities. Establishing priorities is a skill that can help you manage your time and achieve your goals more effectively. You may experience feelings of being overburdened by the quantity of work or duties that you have at times. You can lessen the amount of stress you feel by establishing your priorities and concentrating on the activities that are the most important or urgent. You can also learn to say no to things that are not vital to you or meaningful to you, and you can delegate tasks or seek for assistance when you find yourself in need of it. 
there is a possibility that we will experience a more meaningful connection to the work that we do if we set meaningful long-term objectives. These goals can help us obtain clarity on what truly matters to us and what we want to accomplish. Guarantee that your goals are aligned with your core beliefs when you are making meaningful goals. This will guarantee that you are concentrating your efforts on the things that are important to you. Maintain support. Being able to deal with the difficulties that life throws at you and receiving both emotional and practical assistance can be facilitated by having a solid support network. One way to ensure that you continue to receive support is to keep communication with your family, friends, and other individuals who are concerned about you. Another option is to become a member of a support group, a community organization, or a hobby club, all of which provide you with the opportunity to meet new people who share your experiences or interests. Be more mindful. The practice of mindfulness involves focusing attention on the here and now with acceptance, curiosity, and openness. It can lift your spirits, lessen stress, and generally improve your well-being. The following are some strategies to help you live a more mindful life. Think. Training your attention and developing mindfulness are two excellent benefits of meditation. You might begin by dedicating a short period of time each day and progressively extend it. You can just concentrate on your breathing and your body's feelings, or you can use an app or guided audio. When necessary, practice mindfulness. One easy method to de-stress and bring yourself back to the present now is to use the simple stop technique whenever you feel overwhelmed, stressed, or distracted. The acronym STOP refers to the following. Pause what you're doing, inhale deeply, acknowledge your feelings and thoughts, then move forward mindfully. Investigate various mindfulness practices. Being mindful extends beyond simply closing your eyes and staying motionless. Additionally, you can engage in mindfulness exercises while eating, strolling, enjoying music, or engaging in any other enjoyable activity. The secret is to be aware of your feelings, your sensations, and your environment without passing judgment or responding in like. Pay attention to your body. Your body is a storehouse of knowledge and insight. By paying attention to your body's needs, feelings, and messages, you can cultivate mindfulness. By feeling your feet on the ground, your breath in your chest, or your heartbeat in your chest, you may also utilize your body to anchor your attention in the here and now. Pay attention to your thoughts. Your ideas are not who you are, nor are they facts. By just seeing your ideas come and go without attaching any meaning to them or accepting them as true, you can cultivate awareness. Additionally, you can utilize your ideas as a chance to treat yourself and other people with respect and compassion. Recognize your feelings. You are not your emotions. They are valid and natural. By recognizing your emotions without repressing or acting upon them, you can engage in mindfulness. Emotions can also serve as a guide to help you connect with others and gain a deeper understanding of yourself. Embrace optimism. Optimistic individuals see setbacks as opportunities for growth. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, they learn, adapt, and persevere. Positivity is a powerful mental attitude that has the potential to substantially impact our lives and our overall well-being throughout our lives. An optimistic attitude on life is something that can lead to improvements in mental and physical health, higher resilience, and increased motivation one. When we embrace optimism, we build a good outlook on life. The act of intentionally establishing a framework in our minds that fosters positivity is what we mean when we say that we embrace optimism. To embrace optimism is not simply to expect wonderful things to happen. It's a way of engaging with the world that influences our experiences and interactions with a hopeful outlook. Foster a constructive mindset by concentrating on finding solutions, gaining wisdom from challenges, and retaining a resilient mindset. Share some kindness. Being pleasant, generous, or attentive to other people is an act that is referred to as kindness. It is possible that being kind will make you feel better, more connected, and more compassionate, 
which will be beneficial not just to you, but also to the people that you assist. Doing something pleasant for someone, such as complimenting them, lending a helping hand, or making a donation, is a great way to show kindness and share its benefits with others. In addition, you can show kindness to oneself by treating yourself with respect, forgiveness, and care through the act of treating yourself. I hope these tips and suggestions can help you face life's challenges with positivity. Remember, you are not alone, and you can always reach out to someone else if you need more support. You got this.